As we progress in our practice of Islam, sometimes we find we may become arrogant in our practice. We begin to think that we have already attained salvation, that we are the people of heaven and we judge who gets in and who doesn't. But if you were to ask the greatest of scholars and the greatest of saints, if they had attained salvation in their lifetimes, they would never tell you yes. In fact, they would cry out of fear of their actions not being sincere. And this is true humility, to always be questioning the self. So never will it become arrogant. And one of the greatest lessons we can take from our history is that example of Al-Zubayr. Al-Zubayr was one of the first Muslims, the nephew of Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam. Zubayr was one of the Muhajirun. He did the Hijrah with Rasulullah Al-Zubayr was in Badr. Al-Zubayr was in Uhud. Al-Zubayr was in Khandaq. Al-Zubayr was in all the different battles. Al-Zubayr was in the Fatah of Mecca. Zubayr was in Hunayn. Zubayr was of the five men who shaved their heads to come and stand in solidarity with Imam Ali salam. Zubayr was in the house of Sayyidah Zahra salam when it was attacked. Zubayr was at the khutbah of Sayyidah Zahra. Zubayr was at the janazah. Zubayr knows where Sayyidah Zahra is buried. He was at the janazah of Fatima Zahra salam. After all of this, being of the greatest companions and the greatest Muslims, 20 years later, Al-Zubayr held his sword up against Imam Ali because of dunya. Because of Zubayr, tens of thousands of Muslims were killed because of dunya. Someone who was on the level of Zubayr, at the end of their lives, loses himself to this world. And so we must never become arrogant in our practice of Islam and never think that we have attained salvation. We must always come to God in humility and we pray and ask Him, Allahumma rzuqna husn al My Lord, grant me salvation at the end of my life.